I also discovered Amazon Prime does two-hour delivery in London for free, which is blowing my mind. This is not a spawn. This is just I'm so excited by it. So I could be like, hey, I don't have a frying pan. And then I'm like, boop, boop, boop. And two, two hours later, frying pan, biatch. I mean, how, 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 how does that work? Where did they get it from? Where's this magical Amazon place? Uh, I did actually buy a frying pan today because ours has like got all of the stuff removed. So everything sticks to it. So I bought a frying pan and it arrived in two hours. It's blowing my mind. It's the future, guys. It's, it's more futuristic than me reaching through the webcam and booping you all on the nose. Love it. Get your mech, get your cheer. The breakfast is complete. Um, <laughs> what was that, Phil? I don't know. I can't reverse time and take it back, so let's just go with it. We had friends over playing board games, and I turned off all the lights and just made everyone watch the lightning storm, which was actually quite nice. Ow. What's Daniel doing? He is currently editing his new video. I don't know when it's going up, but he has created one, which is brave because it's so warm. So yeah, there'll be a new Dan video at some point. Did you enjoy watching Formula One? Well, Dan was watching Formula One. I was kind of just browsing and half watching it. It was quite exciting, actually. There was some rain, some dramatic overtaking. Some people skid off. Say a random fill fact. Um, I'm not wearing any socks because it's so warm, but I'm not going to show my feet to the webcam because that would be weird. But I do like this place, and I have to say, moving house was one of the worst experiences ever. Especially because we were moving down from Manchester. It was so hard. It was horrible. It was actually horrible. There's so much stuff. Everything's so heavy. And there's like 17 flights of stairs to get up to this apartment. It was ridic to the max. Actually, after, like, after we got the final box... I literally stripped down to my boxes and just starfished on the bathroom floor because I was so hot because it was one of the hottest days of the year in London during the Olympics and all the traffic was really bad and I'd gone up and down the stairs 14 times, coughed up blood into my mouth and I was like, I can't, I can't even move, I can't even breathe. I was having my hair washed and the guy washing my hair was like, it's a hot day, do you want it to be the cold, the coldest water possible? And I was like, uh, well, yeah, you just keep making it colder. That's fine. That's fine. And he's like, okay, I'm just going to keep making it colder. Then you can tell me to stop when it's too cold. And I was like, okay. And then he just made it colder and colder. But it was really refreshing. It was a hot day. And then it didn't get any colder. And he's like, you know what? You're the first person that hasn't told me to stop. That's such a weird thing to say. I was like, okay. Um, right. And then he was like, I'm going to use the peppermint conditioner on your hair because that's cooling, and then you'll have a cool scalp. And I was like, thanks. Yes, it's very hot today. But then, but then he was washing my hair, and he kept saying, does it feel fresh? <laughs> what, do you, what is the answer to that? Does it feel fresh? Um, yeah. I was like, yeah. He asked me like three times. Is it any fresher now? I think he meant cool. I mean, it was such a strange question. I wanted to laugh. Does it feel fresh? You're like, uh, I don't know. Does it? Do you feel fresh? Stop interrogating me. What's going on? Anyway, that happened. Do you still go to Fabrice? Fabrice is my homeboy. I always go to Fabrice. Have you seen PewDiePie's new video? I have not. We are all going on about it, so maybe I will go watch it after this. How's Janice, said Chloe. Oh, Janice from the shop. Me and Janice have such the good chats. She, was tell she told me she'd never cooked Mexican food before. So I told her how to make Mexican food. That was our bonding of the day. Go do a behind the scenes of Dan's video. That'd be so distracting. Here's, I just poked myself in the nose. <laughs> so everyone's like, here's Dan editing his video. And he just made a cut. And he moved the video around. Did you hang out with Chris and PJ? I didn't, I was just in London and I saw Chris, Crab Six. I haven't seen him in ages. That was lovely. It's like one of those random things where of all the people in the world that could be there, you could just be like, it's you. So that was nice. Had a little bit of a catch up. He's going to VidCon, I think. Maybe. Um, so I might see him there. I've made 189 videos. 
I've made way more than that. I deleted so many, well, no, privated so many cringy videos that I, I made when I didn't realize my audience would be as big as it is now. Uh, so, yeah, they are, they are in the vault, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I made some good ones, which I've left up, but some I'm just like, no, I don't want anyone to see that. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you would appreciate why I wouldn't want them all there. Uh, me. A wild film knee appeared. If I do this, it's still quite long. Like, that's like the end of my fringe. I should just have this haircut. This is what people look like in the future. And they'll do this with their eyes. In old photos. Yeah, that's how long my fringe is. Oh, Phil. You should have bitten your lip. Yeah, I know. Then that would have been hypersexual, right? With my fringe down the middle of my face. It should also be useful for hitting someone with. So that could cause murder situation. So don't don't hit people with frying pans. Good. Bye. Conk. Now, the question is, how long will it be before I can leave? Conk. Still can't leave. Oh, here we go. Bye, guys! Oh, I'm still here. Oh, it didn't work.